When he's down in the bottoms, Travis always stops off for a visit and a cup of coffee with Herb Jones. Herb Jones is a man who likes a lot of privacy. He's been living alone in these bottoms for the past 20 years. Travis always enjoys these visits with Herb, and never fails to bring him tobacco and other supplies. Herb can spin yarns for hours about his experiences with the wild creatures of the bottom land. Herb tells Travis to be on the lookout for a big old wild boar with double curled tusks he spotted a day or two earlier. Herb limps because he once accidentally shot part of his foot away in a boating accident. Although he was all alone, he made it out of the bottoms to a doctor. I've been living down here by myself for a long time. About 14 miles of a boat from my place to the nearest road. And it's a pretty good walk to town. Them Crabtree boys, especially that Travis, always drop by to see me when they come out and they're fishing. They always brought me tobacco and sugar and stuff like that. Even a bottle of wine every once in a while. <laughs> Did you notice my, my bottle tree on the way in? I use them bottles as fruits on my trot lines. I catch a mighty big catfish and buffalo on them lines. They're an old cream fried over every day. Looks at my place. I don't know what he's looking for. Once you, you get to know these bottoms, you, you never lack for something to do. People always ask me why I stay down here. I tell them I stay because I like it better here than I would anywhere else. Looks like they could figure that out for themselves. And another thing, People always ask me, have I seen the Falk monster? I let me tell you something. There ain't no such thing. I've been living here in these bottoms for better than 20 years. I ain't never seen or heard no monster. 